The Gospel of John, chapter 7 through 14. Chapter 7. And after these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he could not walk in Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the feast of the Jews, the feast of tabernacles, was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may behold thy works which thou does. For no man does anything in secret, and himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou dost these things, manifest thyself to the world. For even his brethren did not believe on him. Jesus therefore saith unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that its works are evil. Go ye up unto the feast, I will not go up until this feast, because my time is not yet fulfilled. And having said these things unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up unto the feast, then went he up also, not publicly, but as it were in secret. The Jews therefore sought him at the feast, and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the multitudes concerning him. Some said, He is a good man. Others said, Not so, but he leadeth the multitude astray. Yet no man spoke openly of him for fear of the Jews. But when it was now the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews therefore marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus therefore answered them, and said, My teaching is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man wills to do his will, he shall know of the teaching, whether it is of God, or whether I speak from myself. He that speaketh from himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh the glory of him that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law? and yet none of you doth the law? Why seek ye to kill me? The multitude answered, Thou hast a demon, who seeketh to kill thee? Jesus answered and said to them, I did one work, and ye all marveled because of it. Moses hath given you circumcision, not that it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And on the Sabbath ye circumcise a man, if a man receive the circumcision on the Sabbath, that the law of Moses may not be broken. Are ye wroth with me, because I made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath? Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Some therefore of them of Jerusalem said, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? And lo, he speaketh openly, and they say nothing unto him. Can it be that the rulers indeed know that this is the Christ? Howbeit we know this man whence he is. But when the Christ come, no one knoweth whence he is. Jesus therefore cried in the temple, teaching and saying, Ye both know me, and know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. They sought therefore to take him, and no man laid hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. But of the multitude, Many believed on him, and they said, When the Christ shall come, will he do more signs than those which this man hath done? The Pharisees heard the multitude murmuring these things concerning him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to take him. Jesus therefore said, Yet a little while am I with you, and I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am you cannot come. The Jews therefore said among themselves, Whither will this man go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersion among the Greeks, and teach the Greeks? What is this word that he said, Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am you cannot come? Now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and, cr and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, from within him shall flow rivers of living water. But this he spake he of the Spirit, which they that believed on him were to receive. For the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Some of the multitude, 
therefore, when they heard these words, said, This is of a truth, the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, What doth the Christ come out of Galilee? Hath not the scripture said that the Christ cometh of the seed of David, and from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there rose a division in the multitude because of him, and some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. The officers therefore came to the chief priests and Pharisees, and they said unto them, Why did ye not bring him? The officers answered, Never man so spoke. The Pharisees therefore answered them, Are ye also led astray? Hath any of the rulers believed on him, or of the Pharisees? But this multitude that knoweth not the law are accursed. Nicodemus said unto them, he that came to him before being one of them, Doth our law judge a man except it first heareth from him himself, and know what he doth? They answered and said unto him, Art thou also of Galilee? Search and see that out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. Chapter 8 And they went every man unto his own house. But Jesus went into the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees bring a woman taken in adultery, and having set her in the midst, they say unto him, Teacher, this woman hath been taken in adultery in the very act. Now in the Moses commanded us to stone such. What then sayest thou of her? And this they said, trying him, that they might have whereof to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground. But when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him cast a first a stone at her. And again he stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground. And they, when they heard it, went out one by one, beginning from the eldest even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman where she was in the midst. And Jesus lifted up himself and said unto her, Woman, where are they? Did no man condemn thee? And she said, No man, Lord. Jesus said, Neither do I condemn thee. Go thy way. From henceforth sin no more. Again therefore Jesus spoke unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in the darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest witness of thyself, thy witness is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, Even if I bear witness of myself, my witness is true, for I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye know not whence I come, nor whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. Yea, and if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. Yea, and in your law it is written that the witness of two men is true. I am he that beareth witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. They said therefore unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. These words spoke he in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man took him because his hour was not yet come. He said therefore again unto them, I go away, and ye shall seek me, and, I, and shall die in your sin. Whither I go, ye cannot come. The Jews therefore said, Will he kill himself? That he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above, ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for except ye believe that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. They said therefore unto him, Who art thou? Jesus said unto them, Even that which I have also spoken unto you from the beginning. I have many things to speak and to judge concerning you, howbeit he that sent me is true. And the things which I heard from him, these speak I unto the world. They perceived not that he spoke to them of the Father. Jesus therefore said, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, 
and that I do nothing of myself, but as the Father taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. He hath not left me alone, for I do always the things that are pleasing to him. As he spoke these things, many believed on him. Jesus therefore said to those Jews that had believed him, If ye abide in my word, then are ye truly my disciples, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered unto him, We are Abraham's seed, and have never yet been in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Every one that committeth sin is the bondservant of sin, and the bondservant abideth not in the house forever. The Son abideth forever. If therefore the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, yet ye seek to kill me, because my word hath not free course in you. I speak the things which I have seen with my father, and ye also do the things which ye heard from your father. They answered and said unto him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said unto them, If you were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I heard from God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the works of your father. They said unto him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I came forth and am come from God. For neither have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understandeth my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father it is your will to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and standeth not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. But he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father thereof. But because I say the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convict me of sin? If I say truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth the words of God. For this cause ye heareth them not, because ye are not of God. The Jews answered and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a demon? Jesus answered, I have not a demon, but I honor my father, and ye dishonor me. But I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my word, he shall never see death. The Jews said unto him, Now we know that thou hast a demon. Abraham died, and the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep my word, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, who died, and the prophets died? Who makest thou self? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father that glorifies me, of whom ye say that he is your God. And ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be like unto you, a liar. But I know him, and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. The Jews therefore said unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was born, I am. They took up stones therefore to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Chapter 9 And as he passed by, he saw a man blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? Jesus answered, Neither did this man sin, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. We must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. When I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and anointed his eyes with the clay, and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is, by interpretation, sent. He went away, therefore, and washed, and came seen. 
The neighbors, therefore, and they that saw him aforetime, that he was a beggar, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Others said, It is he. Others said, No, but he is like him. He said, I am he. They said therefore unto him, How then were thine eyes opened? He answered, The man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes, and said unto me, Go to Siloam and wash. So I went away and washed, and I received sight. And they said unto him, Where is he? He hath said, I know not. They bring to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. Now it was the Sabbath on the day when Jesus made the clay, and opened his eyes. Again, therefore, the Pharisees also asked him how he received his sight. And he said unto them, He put clay upon mine eyes, and I washed, and I see. Some, therefore, of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, because he keepeth not the Sabbath. But others said, How can a man that is a sinner do such signs? And there was a division among them. They said, therefore, unto the blind man again, What sayest thou of him, in that he opened thine eyes? And he said, He is a prophet. The Jews, therefore, did not believe concerning him that he had been blind, and had received his sight, until they called the parents of him that had received his sight, and asked them, saying, Is this your son, who ye say was born blind? How then doth he now see? His parents answered and said, We know that this is our son, and that he was born blind, but how he now sees we know not. Or who opened his eyes we know not. Ask him, he is of age, he shall speak for himself. These things saith his parents, because they feared the Jews, for the Jews had agreed already that if any man should confess him to be Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore said his parents, he is of age, ask him. So they called a second time the man that was blind, and said unto him, Give glory to God, we know that this man is a sinner. He therefore answered, Whether he is a sinner, or I know not, one thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. They said therefore unto him, What did he, what did he to thee? How opened the, thy eyes? He answered them, I told you even now, and ye did not hear. Wherefore would ye hear it again? Would ye also become his disciples? And they reviled him and said, Thou art his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know that God hath spoken unto Moses, but as for this man, we know not whence he is. The man answered and said unto them, Why, herein is, is the marvel, that ye know not whence he is, and yet he opened my eyes. We know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshipper of God, and do his will, him he heareth. Since the world began, it was never heard that any one opened the eyes of a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. They answered and said unto him, Thou wast altogether born in sins, and dost thou teach us? And they cast him out. Jesus therefore heard that they had cast him out. Finding him, he said, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? He answered and said, And who is he, Lord, that I may believe on him? Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and he it is that speaketh with thee. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped him. And Jesus said, For judgment came I into this world, that they that see not may see, and that they that see may become blind. Those of the Pharisees who were with him heard these things, and said unto him, Are we also blind? Jesus said unto them, If ye were blind, ye would have no sin. But now ye say, We see, your sin remaineth. Chapter 10 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the fold of the sheep, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter open. And the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. When he hath put forth all his own, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. 
And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the strangers. This parable spoke Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spoke unto them. Jesus therefore said unto, unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in, and go out, and shall find pasture. The thief cometh not, but that he may steal, and kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life, and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd layeth down his life for the sheep. He that is a hireling, and not a shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, beholdeth the wolf coming, and leave the sheep and flee, and the wolf snatches them, and scattereth them. He fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine own, and mine own know me, even as the Father knoweth me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall become one flock, one shepherd." Therefore doth the Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it again. No one taketh away from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment receive I from my Father. Therefore arose a division again among the Jews because of these words. And many of them said, He hath a demon, and is mad. Why hear him? Others said, these are not the sayings of one possessed with a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? And it was the feast of the dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in Solomon's porch. And the Jews therefore came round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou hold us in suspense? If thou art the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, these bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my, of my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, and no one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them unto me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown you from the Father. Of which of these works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, being a man, maketh thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do them, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that ye may know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. They sought again to take him, and he went forth out of their hand. And he went away again beyond the Jordan into the place where John was at the first baptizing. And there he abode, and many came unto him. And they said, John indeed did no sign, but all things whatsoever John spoke of this man were true. And many believed on him there. Chapter 11 Now a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, of the village of Mary and her sister Martha. And it was that Mary who anointed the Lord with, an with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. The sisters therefore sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. But when Jesus heard of it, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man may be glorified thereby. Now Jesus loved Mary and her sister and Lazarus. 
When therefore he heard that he was sick, he abode at that time two days in the place where he was. Then after this he saith to the disciples, Let us go into Judea again. The disciples say unto him, Rabbi, the Jews were but now seeking to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If a man walk in the day, he stumbles not, because he seeth the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because the light is not in him. These things spake he, and after this he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus is fallen asleep, but I go that I may wake him out of the sleep. The disciples therefore said unto him, Lord, if he is fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he spoke of taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus therefore said unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, to the, in to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Thomas therefore, who is called Didymus, said unto his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. So when Jesus came, he found that he had been in the tomb four days already. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about fifteen furlongs away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. Martha, therefore, when she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary still sat in the house. Martha, therefore, said unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had, would not have died. And even now I know that whatsoever thou shalt ask of God, God will give thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth on me shall never die. Believest thou this? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I have believed that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, even he that cometh into the world. And when she had said this, she went away and called Mary her sister secretly, saying, The teacher is here and calleth thee. And she, when she heard it, arose quickly and went unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the village, but was still in the place where Martha met him. The Jews then who were with her in the house, and were consoling her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up quickly and went out, followed her, supposing that she was going unto the tomb to weep there. Mary, therefore, when she came where Jesus was, and saw him, fell at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. Then Jesus, therefore, saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, who came with her. He groaned in the spirit, and was troubled, and said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. The Jews therefore said, Behold how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not this man who opened the eyes of him that was blind have caused that this man also should not die? Jesus therefore again groaning in himself cometh to the tomb. Now it was a cave, and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time the body decayeth, for he had been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou believest, thou should see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes, and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hearest me, and I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the multitude that standeth around, I say it, that they may believe, and thou hast didst sent me. When he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! He that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto him, Loose him, and let him go. Many, therefore, of the Jews who came to Mary and beheld that which he did, believed on him. But some of them went away to the Pharisees and told them the things that Jesus had done. The chief 
Chief priests, therefore, and the Pharisees gathered a council and said, what do, what do we? For this man doth many signs. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation. But a certain one of them, Caiaphas, being high priest that year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor do ye take account that it is expedient for you that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not. Now this he said not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but that he might also gather together into one the children of God that are scattered abroad. So from, from that day forth they took counsel that they might put him to death. Jesus therefore walked no more openly among the Jews, but departed thence into the country near to the wilderness, into a city called Ephraim, and there he tarried with the disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was at hand, and many went up to Jerusalem out of the country before the Passover to purify themselves. They sought therefore for Jesus, and spoke one with another, as they stood in the temple. What think ye, that he will not come to the feast? Now the chief priests and the Pharisees had given commandment that if any man knew where he was, he should show it, that they might take him. Jesus therefore, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany where Lazarus was, whom Jesus raised from the dead. So they made him a supper there, and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at meat with him. Mary therefore took a pound of ointment of pure nard, very precious, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the odor of, o of ointment. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples that should betray him, said, why was not this ointment sold for three hundred shillings and given to the poor? Now this he said not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief, and having the bag, took away what was put therein. Jesus therefore said, Suffer her to keep it against the day of my burying. For the poor ye have always with you, but, ye, but me ye have not always. The common people thereof, the Jews, learned that he was there, and they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priest took counsel that they might put Lazarus also to death, because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away and believed unto Jesus. On the morrow a great multitude that had come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took the branches of the palm trees and went forth to meet him, and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus, having found a young ass, sat thereon, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, thy king cometh sitting on an ass's colt. These things understood not his disciples at the first, but when Jesus was glorified, they remembered that that these things were written of him, and that they had done these things unto him. The multitude, therefore, that was with him when they called Lazarus out of the tomb, and it raised him from the dead, bear witness. For this cause also the multitude went and met him, for that they heard that he had done this sign. The Pharisees, therefore, said among themselves, Behold, how ye are prevailing nothing. Lo, the world has gone after him. Now there were certain Greeks among those that went up to worship at the feast. These therefore came to Philip, who was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and Andrew cometh and Philip, and they tell Jesus. And Jesus answers them, saying, The hour is come, that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a grain of wheat fall into the earth and die, it abideth by itself alone. But if it die, it beareth much fruit. He that loveth his life, lose it. And he that hath his life in this world, shall keep it unto eternal life. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there also shall my servant be. If any man serve me, him will the Father honor. Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? 
Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause sh- sh- came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. There came therefore a voice out of heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The multitude there, therefore that stood by and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, An angel hath spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice hath not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, shall draw all men unto myself. But this he said, signifying by what manner of death he should die. The multitude therefore answered him, We have heard out of the law that the Christ abideth forever. And how saith thou the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus therefore said unto them, Yet a little while in is the light among you. Walk while ye have the light, that darkness overtake you not. And he that walketh in the darkness knoweth not where he goes, but ye have the light. Believe on the light, that ye might become sons of light. These things spoke Jesus, and he departed and hid himself from them. But though he had done many signs before them, yet they believed not on him. That the word of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spoke, Lord, who hath believed our report? And to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this cause they could not believe, for that Isaiah said again, He hath blinded their eyes and and hardened their heart, lest they should see with their eyes and perceive with their heart, and should turn, and I should heal them. These things said Isaiah, because he saw his glory, and he spoke of him. Nevertheless, even of the rulers, many believed on him, But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess it, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they love the glory of it, of men more than the glory that is of God. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that beholdeth me, beholdeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me may not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my sayings and keep them not, I judge him not. For I come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my sayings hath one that judges him. The word that I spoke, the same shall judge him in the last day. For I spoke not from myself, but the Father that sent me. He hath given me a commandment, that I should say, and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life eternal. The things, therefore, which I speak, even as the Father hath said unto me, so I speak. Chapter 13 Now before the feast of the Passover, Jesus, knowing that his hour had come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, that were in the world, he loved them unto the end, And during supper, the devil, having already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he came forth from God, and goeth unto God, raised from supper, and layeth aside his garments, and he took a towel and girded himself. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. So he came to Simon Peter. He saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt understand thereafter. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, He that is bathed need not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew him that should betray him. Therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. And when he had washed their feet and taken his garments and sat down again, he said unto them, 
Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me teacher and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. If I then, the Lord and the teacher, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that ye should, ha ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, A servant is no greater than his Lord, neither one that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, blessed are ye if ye do them. I speak not of ye all, I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture might be fulfilled. He that eateth my bread lifted up, up his heel against me. From henceforth I tell you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass ye may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me. And he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had said this, he was troubled in his spirit, and testified, and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. The disciples looked one to another, doubting of whom he spoke. There was at the table reclining in Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him, and saith unto him, Tell us, who it is of whom he speaketh. He leaneth back as he was on Jesus' breast, saying unto him, Lord, who is it? Jesus therefore answered, He it is for whom I shall dip the sop and give it to him. So when he had dipped the sop, he taketh and giveth it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. And after the sop, then entered Satan into him. Jesus therefore said unto him, What thou dost do quickly, now no man at the table knew for what intent he spoke this unto him, but some thought, because Judas had the bag, that Jesus said unto him, Buy what things we have need of for the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the sop, went out straight away, and it was night. When therefore he was gone out, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. And God shall glorify me in himself, and straightway shall he glorify him. Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, whether I go, you cannot come. So now I say unto you, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, even as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Simon Peter answered unto him, Lord, where thou go? Jesus answered, Whether I go, where I go, you cannot follow me now, but thou shalt follow afterwards. Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thee. Jesus answered, Wilt thou lay down thy life for me? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow unto unto thee, has denied me thrice. Chapter 14 Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I come again, and will receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may also be. And whither I go, ye know the way. Thomas answered unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, how know we the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye would have known my Father also. From henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and dost thou not know me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. How sayest thou, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I say unto you I speak not from myself, but the Father abideth in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else... Believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, 
The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. And whatsoever ye ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, that will I do. If ye love me, ye will keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, for it beholdeth him not, neither knoweth him. Ye know him, for he abideth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you desolate, I come unto you. Yet a little while, and the world beholdeth me no more. But ye beholdeth me, because I live, ye shall live also. In that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself unto him. Judas, not Iscariot, said unto him, Lord, what is come to pass that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my words, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, while yet abiding with you. But the Comforter, even the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring to your remembrance all that I said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be fearful. Ye heard how I said to you, I go away, and I come unto you. If ye loved me, ye would have rejoiced, because I go unto the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass ye may believe. I will no more speak much with you, for the Prince of the world cometh, and he hath nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father. And as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Rise, let us go hence.